Okay, this morning I have been working on the split relay system, split charge system, sorry, uh, via a bolt sensor relay. This is the battery that's in the floor. I picked up there the live. Goes into a fuse there, that's 100 amp. And round here, just next to the earth cable there, there's a wee gap in the sponge insulation there. Uh, I managed to get the cable through there into the back. In the vehicle, you don't have to take an earth from here because you can pick that up at an earthing point uh, anywhere on the bodywork of the chassis of the the vehicle. Uh, and once you connect the negative battery, uh, your auxiliary battery onto that, it, it completes the circuit. Here we have the battery. The live cables come through that wee bit there. That was cut already, I thought that was just somebody else who'd been in the vehicle, but I think I'll just have that, that rubber trim's broken already, so I managed to get the cable in through there, round the back of the seat. I'll put that in a bit of conduit, I think. Down there is the earthing point on the chassis. And then you've got one the chassis, one the body. Both coming through here. So you've got your fuse at the battery. We're coming into the volt sensitive relay. It basically picks up the, the voltage from your, your starter battery. Once it gets above a certain level, it kicks in and it charges your second battery. If it ever drops, it, it'll cut out, so you're not going to drain your, your starter battery. That goes into a fuse. These are all 100 amp. This came in a kit. Onto your battery. Your earth goes onto your chassis. I've got an earth there going onto this fuse board, kind of bus bar thing. And then I have got my mains going into an isolator, into there, so I can isolate all the power that's leaving that battery and it'll let you work on the system. Uh, quite handy. I've plugged in the voltmeter, and that's the battery just sitting idle. And we're charging into it at 12.74, which would be a healthy battery, I think. So, what we should do now is go and start the vehicle. And after a few seconds, this meat really should light up. There's a wee tiny LED above the, the letter U there. So we'll go and start the vehicle and uh, hopefully, we'll see this going up to about 14 volts, just, just above 14, I think it should be. Excuse the mess, that's what happens when you undertake such jobs. Just one of them, just scatter them all over the floor because it's inevitable what's going to happen. Just bring everything into your garage. Interesting footage here, let's be turning the key. The moment of truth. Oh well, wow, that's the, the van just idle on there, and we're just sitting above 14 volts. So that means this battery is getting a charge from the starter battery. It's hard to see. Uh, there's a wee red light on there. That clicking on and off. Uh, when, it's, when the, the correct voltage is, is reached, that will click on and the wee light will come on. Hooray! Um, I'm just looking at this wee bit here, I've drilled wee holes so all my cabling's in behind there. This one here is going to be for my hookup cable to come in. And these two are the blue uh, Arctic cables I brought in for the two forties within the van. So they'll just come in here and plug into the sockets in here. And then if I put an inverter in, I'll be able to take the, the sockets out of plugs out the sockets and then put them into the inverter if they're not on hookup. 